Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics. It is Saturday, the 29th of October, 2022. In the Atlantic Basin, and specifically down in the Caribbean Sea, we have Invest Area 95L, now up to 50% chance for further development. And then we've got this other area near Bermuda, that's at 20%, expanding out to the five-day outlook. That remains at 20% up there. While our feature down in the Caribbean, again, 95L, that is at 70% chance of further development over the next five days. And looking at the satellite animation this morning, 95L not very well organized. It's slowly trying to get its act together down there. Certainly could be a big rainmaker if it interacts with any of the islands. And so far, at least today, uh, the deeper moisture has remained away from those areas. But Puerto Rico over to Hispaniola, maybe Jamaica eventually could get in on some very heavy rain as this system slowly progresses off to the west and west-northwest with time. Meanwhile, our feature up there near Bermuda, not very well organized either. Just a large, long, and stretched out fetch of moisture coming up out of the Caribbean towards Bermuda. Every once in a while, you might get a passing rain shower, but no, it doesn't look like much is going to come from that system overall. Looking at the vorticity, a very important tool to see if the energy is bundling. And down in the Caribbean, look at it, it's still kind of elongated. There is certainly some energy down there, but again, it's not trying to bundle up just yet. In fact, our feature near Bermuda is better organized overall from the vorticity perspective in terms of how it's trying to bundle that energy. But water temperatures up that way are a little bit cooler. Stronger upper level winds prevail up there as well. And so that system won't have too much of an opportunity to develop a lot of deep thunderstorm activity. It's just interesting how that one up near Bermuda is a little bit better organized on the vorticity signature than is the one in the Caribbean. Looking at the model track guidance here for 95L, uh, overall, generally a track off to the west and west-northwest to perhaps near Jamaica, and then maybe turning more to the south and southwest from there as strong high pressure builds over the Gulf of Mexico and the eastern United States over the next several days. The intensity guidance, fortunately, is very anemic, as I guess is a good way to put it, not very enthusiastic at all. The ship's guidance, that is the green line there, the statistical hurricane intensity prediction that guidance is pretty strong, getting it up to about a Category 1, but that's kind of an outlier, I think, as you can clearly see. The rest of the guidance not very enthusiastic. So we'll watch and see as this uh, system moves and evolves over time. The Euro here from last night's run, the Zero Z, does take this feature across the Caribbean with some organization to it. And again, all of those oranges that you see in there, the yellows, the deeper oranges, and even the occasional red, that does represent energy in the atmosphere, and that could ring out a lot of rain if that passes over an area of land. And, you know, certainly over the ocean, too, but land areas could be impacted by heavy rain. Hispaniola especially vulnerable to that. We'll have to watch that for Jamaica, certainly, as it gets closer to there in about two to three days. And then eventually this looks like it's going to make its way towards Central America, where we know that very heavy rainfall can cause a lot of problems. So we'll be watching this over the coming days as we get to the end of October and into November. All right, that is it from me for this morning. Have a great rest of your Saturday. Thanks, as always, for tuning in to What's Up in the Tropics. Again, I am Mark Settle for Hurricane Track. I'll be back with more for you tomorrow.